Hello, it's Sarah on a rainy day in New Jersey. Today's video, I am going to be painting these eggs with just the background color, and I figured I'd turn on the camera. Um, working on some Barb Nielsen, Barbara Nielsen, good old Barbara. I am a name shortener, so I'm already calling her Barb. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here's my little other egg, which I'm going to do. I might as well get the other one ready, but I'm going to do another one. It's not done yet, but I've inked it pretty good. Um, not done yet, but in order to put this on the egg, I have to do a little background area in an oval shape. I did all ovals instead of the hearts. She had a few of them were going to be um, on a heart, but I just figured... An oval is much easier to do. Um, I actually just eyeballed it and drew it with my uh, chalk pencil. So I don't know where you are in the world, but if it's a rainy day, I hear all the birds doing their thing. It makes me feel like um, I should be out there doing things, but um, there's time for that. There is a time for painting that I am <laughs> I'm trying to make time for my painting. I don't like doing yard work. Um, I used to. I used to love to get out there with Joe and do it together with my husband. But like he has all these like the tractor and like all the stuff and he likes to do it. Um, so mainly, I can probably still get out there and pick up the big branches because some places actually had a nor'easter a couple weeks ago around here. We didn't. We did have a lot of wind though, so there's a lot of big sticks to remove, but everyone's, not everyone, a lot, oops, dang it. A lot of people are starting to do their cleanup, their yard cleanup. In my neighborhood, my daffodils um, bloomed and it's funny. Um, so anyway, they, they're all like you hear trucks moving around today. Not much is happening because like I said, just the birds are bopping around because it's rainy. But I was going to say, um, see, that looks good. I'll do another one. I'll do another coat. Let it dry. Um, so I planted these daffodils. I've never been, you know, it's so funny. We've been in this house for like 25 years, over 25 years, I would say. And if I would have just planted, so for all you young people who are just starting out in your new homes with your new families, every spring, or actually in the fall, they suggest doing it in the fall, put in one forsythia bush on the, on the edge of your property or maybe a, a rhododendron or an azalea. Just one, if I would have done that, put in one thing of daffodils or one thing of crocuses or one thing I never did and my <clears throat> property in the spring would look like a beautiful flowery nature resort now <laughs> I don't know it's all right though I forgive me because you don't know what you don't know I'm from the city I grew up in the city I didn't know about planting daffodils and forsythia. My mom used to say forsythia is the harbinger of spring. Anywho, we've got lots of forsythia, forsythias blooming. And, um, but that being said, Nature does nature's thing. It's all good. I don't have to help nature. I got to get out of nature's way. I'm just saying. Look at that. That's a pretty good looking oval. All right. Oh gosh, it rolled. It. Oh gosh. They're very wonky to paint these. So actually, uh, just FYI, these are the eggs that I got at Michael's and they were, they did not have a bottom like this. See how I have this flat bottom? I took them down to the, we have a like a rotary sander thing in the basement. And I just went to kind of give it a, so it can stand up. She, Barbara Nielsen actually has these, she double sticky tapes them down to like a little cap 
or something like even maybe a piece of cardboard just cut in a circle so that when you put it down it'll stay put I think I might do that because after you're you know you don't want it rolling into your paint <laughs> like it almost just did um, yeah anywho um, this is white so this will take I would say three coats but so much happens on top of it that two might do it because of all the washes that we're going to put on there I think two might do it it depends um, what else can I tell you um, I'm going to be doing a pickleball what do they call it not a workshop it's not a workshop it's called something else pickleball clinic they call it a clinic and I'm gonna do it with my my sister-in-law so excited I think it's like a four to six week clinic so basically it's just a beginner pickleball instruction you know where you get out there and play and then they're gonna teach you different techniques and how to keep score because pickleball is happening. I remember um, hearing about pickleball. I'm shaking. I have, I have, I've had too much coffee today, I guess. Sorry, I'm just trying to get that more ovally. I don't want it as pointy. Um, anywho, so that's happening. You know what else I gotta do? I gotta go bathe and suit shopping hate it hate it but guess what oh I'm turning 59 in May too you know and you look in the mirror and you just see an older version of yourself see look that looks really narrow at the top because I hand drew these they're not all the same shape oval anywho I gotta accept it because I don't think I'm gonna like if I go to a dermatologist, I have to, I should go to a dermatologist because look, let me show you. What do I have? This isn't, it's just eczema. I don't know if it's eczema or psoriasis, but I have it. It's like, especially on my knees and my legs, like here, here's some. You can't really tell, like it's not flary flary, but it, like there's just little blotches of it all over me. Anywho, um, so I've been meaning to, and I know it's part of self-love, self-care. I gotta go to a dermatologist and just see what it's all about. Um, but um, I want to go to the beach this summer, so I was thinking, because that's why I'm buying a swimsuit. But I'm also gonna get like a beach robe, one of those cute little, just like a kind of long sleeve, kind of wrap around thing that. Can protect my skin as well because I like swimming in the ocean but I am fair I am not I'm not gonna get tan I mean by the end of the summer I get a like a little excuse me a little tan but basically I burn because I'm English Irish and Welsh um, so I'm gonna get a bathing suit so I have a lot of stuff going on um, because I really am going to make a commitment to uh, get in the ocean this year. I want to get in the ocean like once a week, just once a week, because we have a pool. Um, and I don't even like it in this in the hot, hot. I don't like it. But if I go down the shore, if I drive like 20 minutes from here, which one did I do first? I don't remember. Um, it, it is cooler. So anywho, and I got a bike last summer. So I can put it on my car, like I have a bike, like holder thing for my car. Um, so I can put my bike on there and go for a bike ride on the boardwalk. <sighs> I'm gonna do it, cause you know what? I'm feeling good. Um, I just have to do. I have to do it, make it happen. Um, I don't even need someone to go with me. I would like someone to go with me, but I don't need someone to go with me. I have people to go with too now. I just have to call them and say, hey, let's go for a bike ride on the boardwalk. 
and they'll be down to go. Um, so that's it, you guys, dude. I'm feeling good, thankfully. We'll see, you know, one day at a time. Um, but I'm so glad I'm in the craft room because let's see what my bracelets say today. Responsibility, love, and balance. So balance is important. Um, I do all things with love. And I have a responsibility to myself and others to show up um, as the best Sarah I can be. And so self-love is important because sometimes we just don't feel like being the best us we can be. So we have to take time out to recharge, to just be quiet or... For me, it's painting. It always has been. My serenity crafts. Anything creative, really. Um, recharges me. See how I, like, start to talk soft? <laughs> like, it just... It, it just works. It's meditation, right? It's a form of meditation. Um... I actually have been meditating lately. I have that um, app, one of the apps, one of the meditation apps, and um, I do. I try to do a 10-minute meditation a day, and it takes so fast. It takes very quick, is what I usually say. It takes quick um, because I I have tended to be a doer in my life. I have a hard time just being. Just sitting, just listening. Um, oopsie. But I'm learning that that's part. That's a part of the balance. You can't learn anything new if you're talking all the time. Um, can't hear what God's trying to tell me if I'm constantly moving. I have to get out of His way and let his work happen. So many people are, are trying so hard to do, 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 do. And um, I just wanted to try something different because I've been there, done that, and I like to try new things. Um, another thing I heard lately is get comfortable with uncomfortability. Change is inevitable. You can't stop it. Like I said, my face is changing. I can't stop it. I mean, I could get Botox and stuff. People are trying to stop time from changing them, and you can't. I hate to tell you. Anywho, um, so I have to get comfortable with change and embrace it. And so I've started to look at it as a, a way to learn something new. Whenever anything changes, it's an opportunity for spiritual growth. For me to learn something new about myself. This one looks much smaller. And others. And um, let... I picked it up. That was a little wet. Um, I'm going to put that in water and I'm going to grab my other egg. I got two of these eggs from the Dollar Tree. I think, too, this one, it, it's a little wonky. Like, it look, I think it's going like this a little bit. So when I do the other one, I'm going to try and make sure I can get it straight. But what I wanted to do first was I took this piece of kind of really rough sandpaper and just sand off this because that way it won't show up and it worked on the first one see I could take it downstairs but this is pretty good because um, just because downstairs we have a sanding belt but I don't want to um, really take off to it's just a very thin piece of I'm gonna just do around these edges make them smoother 
this is all part of the prepping the piece process and it's never been I'm a I'm a step skipper like I've definitely in the past this is something I learned about myself is um, I'm not patient and this is just one thing about how my impatience can show up with this type of stuff for me to um, just go one step at a time and when I do that I appreciate there's something I could be learning in that step and when I skip it because I'm impatient I may be missing a lesson do you know what I, you know what I mean so I'm just starting to accept myself and all of my frailties or you know we all have all of the things and acceptance is the key because you can't change what you don't acknowledge I don't know if that's good enough for some reason it's not coming off the way I thought it did in the other one let me try this piece of fresh There we go. And just like this painting piece, this Barb Nielsen piece, um, yeah, there's a little dip in it. It's new. It's something different. I haven't done pen and ink like this. This is the only, you know, I have I have a couple pieces that I did with my um my chapter, but I'm just ex I like because when I'm really good at stuff, I'm not really learning anything, you know, like, I can't explain it, but I feel like I don't want to just keep doing the same thing all the I kind of get bored, I guess. That's just me, but, um, yeah, so for me, this is super exciting. <laughs> I'm going to put more white out. And, um. I think I have a series of uh, videos on the camera right now that I need to go upload. I'm going to go um, while this is drying. I had to let this ink set up for a couple hours before I could come back and finish painting because I didn't finish painting. It's not done. Um, so that's why I'm just doing other things. Uh, so yeah, I'll upload the other videos. And I'll probably be back to, um, this might not be white. Dang it. I think it was, um, let me just double check, sorry. Egg preparation? No. Um, seal and lightly sand. Wait a minute. Yep, white. And you know what? I didn't add any sealer. Let me grab sealer. It's a little bottle because uh, I um, actually I need to order it, but I usually mix a little bit of sealer into my paint. Um, wait a minute, I'll find it, I'll find it. And that way uh, I kind of, yeah. yeah, this is the one I like, is the Jessonia. So I'll just mix it right in here. And it'll get sealed because this has supposedly it has polymers in it that kind of create a barrier where the paint is just water based and it will just uh, suck right into the wood so if you put sealer in the paint it'll change the chemistry of the paint and this way I get a base coat and seal at the same time you see what I'm saying and again it's a shortcut because I'm impatient I don't know where I learned that someone some one of the teachers was like me and didn't like to you know <laughs> she didn't want to wait all day while we just seal it when we could be putting some color down and getting a coat of white on here because it, it does generally take at least two definitely two if not three or four coats depending on the piece like I said this one's gonna have um, lots of washes on top of it um, so I have to let that dry. Dang it, there's so much paint in this brush. But I'm going to pop it in water. Alright, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go upload these videos. 
and then I'll be back um, oops, once these are all dry and I'm going to see how I'm going to be able to transfer the patterns onto these eggs which I just think is going to be so fumbly um, or maybe I'll just take you through a little more of the painting of this one because I'm, I'm in the home stretch with this one so we'll do something because it's a rainy Saturday and um, in the craft room. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.